Oh. Oh my. Welcome back to Minor 49er, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to have you with me. I just wanted to uh, catch you before we got to the, the mine itself and show you what we're walking on. There's a lot of, what, volcanic rock, do you think? I don't know what else it would be, but this mountain is pretty much made of it, at least on the outside. Makes for good hiking. It's kind of fun. Anyway, <laughs> as I said, welcome back to Minor 49er, and I'll bring you back when we get up there. I just wanted to show you the rocks. Usually I try to spend some time outside of these adits to show you guys around, but it is starting to rain. So I uh, think I'm gonna make a quick work of it this time around. Here's the waste rock pile. And hopefully there's our mine that we can climb into, get out of the rain. Yep, there it is. And no, I'm not afraid of rain, and I don't melt when I get wet. I just don't want my gear to ruin, you know? And of course, now as they start to hustle, excuse me, the rain kind of stopped. Well, maybe I can spend a bit more time out here than I thought I could. That's nice. Let me give you a better look at the waste rock pile before I head in now. Oh, good grief, this stuff's hard to walk on. Jiminy Cricket. It almost looks like an axe head. It ain't, but it almost looks like one. <laughs> it's a rock. Stuff's pretty dark. Not always, but usually that's an indicator of age. Or not age, sorry. I'm tired. Depth. Oh, it looks like there's another waste rock pile up there. I wonder if that's another portal too. That would be nice. I wonder if they connect. I'm here with the gentleman from exploring abandoned mines in unusual places. And we're having a good old time in the rain and the cold. Mind if I head in? All right, let's get out of this rain. Starting to pick up again. All right, once again, into the fray. Or whatever this is. Not so much a fray as a complete lack of fray. Oh, it's got a door. That's fun. Ah. I don't know if it was last week's. Or next week's, or no weeks, but in one of these mines, I found a, a little animal. Looks like she was carrying a couple of babies. It was a lot of fun. That's a cool door. Very cool door.
you can see the I hope you can see the axe marks that kind of tells you that both the age and the the accessibility of tools when this mine was created so this door Frank pointed out this date right here 1885 Samuel Adams <laughs> no but uh, if that's original and that's legitimate I think it is that is an old door yeah. really old door looks like that one's a 1932 LJ and SH <laughs> I wonder if that was an old dynamite box or something. It might be. It looks like it. I noticed that. I can't quite read what it says. Maybe you guys can make it out. And that was probably put there later, or later though. That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. No doorknob, but still a cool door. Looks like she goes for a ways too, ladies and gentlemen. This will be good. <laughs> Look at that brand. <laughs> that one veered off to the right, didn't it? Did you guys hear that? Wait, there's an animal up there. You definitely see the nest. Right there, for example. That's a pack rat nest. And don't follow me, pack rat. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. I don't like spending too much time in this section, or sections like this, because look at all the weight that is pressing against all these boards. That's a lot of weight. Looks like it clears up here. Oh, and we got tracks. That's awesome. Nice. We got tracks. These tracks are unique though. Uh, instead of having an all metal track, they have a wooden base. And then this part right here is the only part that's metal. Uh, the ore carts would just travel along the metal part. I think it was less expensive to do it that way. But I could be wrong. You have to correct me if I'm wrong. I believe they were mining for silver here. So I know a lot of you like to have that information. I don't always have it to give, but this time I do. I believe they were mining for silver here. From the little alcove. Oh. Oh my. Giving this one a wide berth. I don't know how far down she goes. Oh. She goes down. She really goes down. 
she doesn't go in. Got a piece of a dynamite box there. Okay, so not so deep. I mean, deep enough you'd want a rope, but not too deep. That's nice. I don't know where you tie off at, though. That's a fun section of rock they mined through. Sorry if I'm moving the camera too fast. I'm not trying to. Oh, that's pretty right there. That red with the yellow and the purple and the other colors, that's nice. This isn't a bad mine. I can walk straight up and not have to be hunched over like that. Well, as Mommy Fatelli says, stay to the right, so we'll come back to this one on the way out. But we'll go this way. Hmm. I think those signs are trying to tell us something. What do you think? <laughs> Go back! Go the other way! Wrong way! Hmm, wrong way indeed. You have to be careful when you approach places like this because you never know how much of this that I'm standing on is undercut. see down there at all? I don't know what I'm looking at, but uh, I do not feel safe walking across that board right there. So, oh, it's dark. So this is as far as this direction we're going to go. I'm sorry, but <laughs> safety first. But anyway, like I said, I don't know how much of this right there is undercut. It could be solid, but it could be undercut all the way up to here. And if I stand on that, I never know if it's going to support my weight. So with, with edges like this, shafts, you always have got to be careful where you stand because you never know what's solid and what's empty below you. Well, that sign was correct. Go back. Let's see what this sign gives us. Nothing there. Lots of pinks in here. I don't just mean that, but the rock. It's quite pink. I like it. Oh. Okay. Oh wow, X marks the spot, right? Again, approaching cautiously. Trying to approach cautiously. I don't know how deep that goes, but I suspect it goes deeper than I'm willing to fall. Okay, there you go. I know a lot of you, well, actually I don't know if it's a lot of you. I know some of you will not be happy that I toss things down mine shafts and you all have your valid points. Uh, however, they are not my points and I'm sorry if you think it's a bad idea. Uh, I find it enlightening and it helps me know 
what's safe and what isn't, and so I'm going to keep doing it. But uh, please know that your comments are read, they're evaluated, they are heard, and I do consider them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at all that. That is a gorgeous purple. Okay, that's it's as far back as she goes. But check out this room. Oh, check out that purple, man. That is gorgeous. And almost isolated too, which is interesting. I love little rooms like this. It's like a, a, uh, a geode almost, you know? I know it's not a geode, but it's very geode-like in the fact that it's got all of those unexpected jaggedy beauties in it. All right, pit of death, faced out, home. Oh look, you can even see the portal opening. That's nice. Oh. Can't go there. That's the uh, other pit of death. So let's go this way. I don't expect this to go very far, but we'll, te we'll see. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Ooh. You just got very low with the noise. Lots of different strands in here, though, on the wall. That's cool. <laughs> That's very cool. I've mentioned this before, but I find a lot of times that I get so interested in filming that I tend to miss a lot of the details in these mines. And I'm trying to I'm trying to do better. You don't know this. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. But uh, it's a new season for me. Yeah, I haven't uh, explored any abandoned mines since October. And it's April right now, mid end of April. Uh, but it's I'm coming out of my off season, and yeah, I suppose you could tie a rope to this. Looks like someone may have already done that right there, and then rappel down into this shaft. But I honestly don't know if it would be worth it. I really don't know. There's a ladder of sorts down there, but I wouldn't trust it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm opening the season uh, with a fun week of exploring mines, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> really, really excited about it, and I'm so glad you guys could join me today. This should be a really good season. Now I'm getting into the sketchy part of the mine. Can't see him, but Frank's sitting up there watching me. Kevin, check his channel out. Make sure you do. Boy, there were some uh, dangerous pits out in, in here. Yeah, it's on the floor. Yeah. Well, shaft. Oh. There's that door again behind me. How'd you get across them? I didn't. I avoided them. Thanks for joining me today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you next week.